It's already a vaccination leader in Europe, and now Denmark is one of the first to promise a digital vaccine passport. For these frontline workers, that could mean more freedom. I think lots of people will use it, and for the world economy, it will be good, so we can move on. It's a push to get life back to normal, the potential to open up travel, restaurants, even concerts, for those who have been vaccinated. It's an app that you can download. IBM is pitching store. its technology, an app using a QR code that when scanned gives COVID information, including test results and vaccine status. The more countries that will connect to a platform where this information can be shared, the more valuable the platform gets. But we need to start somewhere. Concerns have been raised about privacy and that people who can't get a vaccine would be unable to return to normal life. The drive here in Denmark mostly come from business life and politicians. This virologist also has public health concerns, not only because the vaccine doesn't give 100 percent immunity, but because of mutations. There are these variants and, and you know, just a, a single introduction could be sufficient to uh, cause serious harm to the Danish society. So I don't see that the, the passport can work on its own. But for businesses, it can't come soon enough. The owner of this hot dog shop says he would happily check customers' passports if there were no restrictions at all. Corona pandemic is uh, very bad for, for business, for my business and for Denmark. Uh, we, we bleed, bleeding every, every day. But for now, it's just a promise, then on detail, that the Danish government says should be up and running by the summer. Rene Filipponi, CBC News, London. NBC News correspondent Sarah Harmon joins us now from Heathrow Airport with an exclusive look. Sarah, good morning. Hey, Joe, good morning to you. You know, vaccination passports are nothing new. International travelers are probably familiar with this little yellow book. You've got to show proof of yellow fever vaccination, for example, if you want to visit some countries in Africa. The problem with these little papers is that they're not secure and they're pretty easy to forge. That's got governments, but also private companies scrambling to come up with a better solution today. We got an inside look at what one company in the north of England is trying. They're here. Digital vaccine passports are rolling out for healthcare workers in the north of England. It's the work of British company V Health Passport. What's the advantage of having this digitally? Why not just give everyone a piece of paper? People are starting to sell fake COVID passports so they can go on air airlines. They're using the V code because it is end to end secure. It ensures that none of these uh, certificates, either paper or digital, can be forged. Ladies and gentlemen, they're far from alone. IBM, Microsoft, even the Danish government are all working on their own versions of a digital vaccine passport to reopen borders and allow people to travel without quarantines. We very much see this pandemic transforming the travel experience, similar to what 9-11 did with security health passports, proof of vaccination going forward is something that we really believe will be with us for some time. IATA, the International Air Transport Association, which is piloting its own vaccine passport, says the biggest hurdle isn't the technology at all, but the lack of clear standards from governments and the World Health Organization. The standards that we need in place, we needed them months ago. So yeah, uh, we need to pace the step up. Now, guys, most of the industry folks that we spoke with said that until we actually know more about how the vaccine works, whether it prevents transmission or just severe infection, you can probably expect that you're going to need to show proof of a negative COVID test in addition to proof of vaccine in order for, to do any international traveling. They also told us the best guess is that this is weeks, not months. I'm going to go to the right. 
was created to protect our society and our economy. Built in Ireland by the Rock U Group, the system uses the very best COVID-19 testing, combined with the latest mobile technologies. Health Passport Ireland is powered by proven and validated systems, allowing us all to take safer steps in our return to our normal way of life. Here's how it works. With Health Passport Ireland, everyone can now be tested for COVID-19 at any time, which helps to protect you your family, our jobs, and our economy. Your COVID-19 test will be performed with highly accurate serological or swab tests. Your test is performed by a medical professional. After your COVID-19 test, an authorized healthcare administrator creates your Health Passport Ireland account. Your login details will be emailed to you immediately with a link to download your Health Passport mobile app. The authorized healthcare administrator securely updates your COVID-19 test results in your Health Passport. Once activated, you can easily display your COVID-19 status on your mobile. Your health passport can be scanned if you wish, which helps protect those around us. Your COVID-19 status will efficiently display as green, amber or red, dependent on your test results. This allows us to go about our daily activities in a safer way. We can all use Health Passport Ireland in many ways, such as travel, hospitality, education, healthcare, construction, offices, entertainment, visits and much, much more. Naturally, the validity of your COVID-19 test will expire over time, so an automatic reminder will be sent when it's time to be tested again. Your status will move to amber when your test period has expired. Health Passport Ireland does not use Bluetooth or track your location. This preserves your privacy. The systems can work in harmony with existing government contact tracing apps. When a vaccine becomes available, your official vaccination status can also be displayed within your health passport. You can even keep a diary of your international travel and events you have attended. Health Passport Ireland can be linked to existing secure medical systems if required, for example, at your GP or hospital. You can visit www.healthpassportireland.ie for more information. Health Passport Ireland, working together to protect our society and economy.